And how about you take your idol with you? Good. Nice. <laughs> I thought about that for a sec. I was like, oh, can I? Can I slip past? Da hmm. ah, ah. Incorrect. Wait, put it down. Just feels like when you mess up, it's the worst mistake in the world. It just feels so cataclysmic. Uh, ooh, okay. Now we're talking. Go away. Um, there was one turkey left, wasn't there? I don't know where the other turkey is. Alright, this is a good start. Fuck, don't fuck it up! It's down here. Um. Oh my god. Okay, careful. Um. Okay, the safe thing to do is this. I identified the risk. Go up. Ah, oh, okay. We're actually fine. I think. Oh, it depends how much it costs. Oh, what the fuck? That's cool. Um, I don't think I can afford it. How much is that? 20, right? 19,000. I need... You can get 5,000 from an urn. Yeah, we can, we can get this. I just need to spend one bomb. Okay, that's 20,000 with the urn. And that'll mean I'm not <laughs> not hanging on to my life by a thread. There we go. own later. Also, apologies if you can hear a loud car in the background. Someone... It's not a neighbor. Somewhere that... Someone that lives nearby. I'm just... Basically being a dickhead. So mad about the car. Oh yeah. What does it sound like? Yeah, I had a coworker that lived like I don't know four streets or so away. And he could hear this. So we know it, it's definitely not from one of our streets, but it's somewhere nearby. That's how loud it is. Can't hear you just bullshitting. I know. <laughs> that wasn't like a, uh... 
the question I expected an answer to. I was like, oh yeah, well, what is it then, huh? It was like that. You know, kind of like, uh, I have nipples, Greg. Can you milk me too? That kind of, that kind of question. Sorry, Doggo. You are stuck. You are the stuck. Thanks for the food. Oh, no, 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 no. I bought that. Ah, oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Gang was about to get pissed. I hate that he does that. It's like, it's not my fault you set up shop somewhere dangerous. Why take it out on me? I did nothing wrong. Um. Okay, hold on. If I don't intervene here. That's gonna, that's gonna get thrown. Shit. Hope for the best. Ah, uh, fuck, I need to go in there. Wait, wait, no, 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 you, you're gonna, you're gonna piss him off. Um, how do we do this? 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 Okay, hang on. I need to... Stop it. I need to put you down here. There. So you're out of the way. Now, I need to blow this up. Okay, then... I need to blow this up. Okay. I think the process through. And then I need to do that. I didn't buy the thing that I really wanted to buy. 7,000. Alright, we're, we're cool. Kind of. Um. Let me go back up. Seven thousand. That's five thousand. Five thousand seven hundred. Nope. We're not going up there. I'm just gonna have to come back up. Okay, I'm going back up now. Ooh, that was lucky. Fucking asshole. Okay. It was important that I got that. Alright. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ha, 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 ha. Game is so funny. After all, all the effort I went through to get that, it's just in here as well. Ah, oh, so you wanted paste. Here, yeah, have some paste. You want paste? Alright, paste for sale. Why are you not buying my pest? I put it on sale especially for you.
the voice is back. It's one of many. It's not the voice. A voice. I guess that's my go-to for like... Fuck. <laughs> that's my go-to to express, uh... Like, genius. Genius voice. Ironic genius voice. Questioning the streamer voice. That's what it is. <laughs> There's a... Hello, I like Beza and Benes. I I lost two of them. But yeah, pizza and Denny's. Results in Kapala, I am happy. Hello Sohoi, how's it going? Did ya uh, end up going out yesterday? I might get pizza for dinner. Sounds like a fine idea. Here's your new home. No, no one wanted to party with you, but you did have a video chat with your best friend until 1am. <laughs> Wait, is, is that going to be your big BRB message? No one wanted to party with you. Sorry, it just came up highlighter like, wait. Two separate things, right? Oh, fuck. Okay. Well. Wait, that's, that's what you want it to be. Oh yeah, I disappeared and said I'd be back soon, didn't I? Wait. <laughs> well, you didn't disappear at all. Did you? Not yesterday, the night before, yes. But I kind of assume you just fell asleep. That's usually what happens when people vanish at that time. It was the night before. Oh, little idiot. What do you want your BRB message to be? That's like two messages now where like I'm thinking, wait, that's... That's it? That's, that's what you want it to be? Especially, oh yeah, I disappeared and said I'd come back soon. That is, that is like a, that's a BRB message. I'm not confused, I just want to know what, what you want it to be. Dude, what does mine say? Did you legitimately not mean to do that? <sighs> Alright, hang on. Where is it? Oh, 
know what I hate is now Twitch have changed this to uh, like big fat icons. Is this the button? Mm, that doesn't look like that was the button. <laughs> oh my god. Um, manage port. Where the fuck is rewards queue? Goals, channel points. What? I could have sworn it was something here. Hang on. This is, this is why Twitch needs to improve. There used to be a button that you would press and then it would appear. Yeah. It's, it's called the rewards queue, where the fuck is it? Let's try edit. Add, there it is, the fucking rewards queue. Okay, and then... There you go. Reject and refund. Done. <laughs> I found it! You're welcome. I was an arsehole, like I would have, I would have made that the BRB message what I was highlighting originally. No one wanted to do anything with me, so I had a Skype or whatever. Video, chat, blah blah blah, whatever the message was. Like, be just extremely literal about it. Alright, from what I hear, everywhere was just packed and booked out. You didn't even know how you did that, and I would have been in my rights to make that stick. It would have been funny. Because I would have... Because with those, there's going to be like an at symbol. Or whatever, you know, like, whoever submitted the quote, it'll appear underneath, so... It'll be forever there. Would've been funny. But it's okay. That's not, uh, it's not that funny. <laughs> so, I have everything I need. I guess let's try and make this work. check on it in a sec. Your, dry, your nose is dry and itchy. I hate that. That happens to me. I don't get hay fever, but that does happen to me. Sometimes in the middle of playing, I'll be like, hang on, one sec, nose.
but yeah, I guess in terms of schedule for weekends, this is what I was thinking, is around this time would be the halfway mark of the stream. Of like a lengthy one. So if there's, there's, there's overlap for the Australians. Or sorry, I should say Australian. <laughs> it's not plural at this point. Sometimes it is. But yeah, I'd probably be moving to Zelda around now. That's what I'm thinking. The Zelda would start like maybe an hour before this, maybe around this time. As opposed to its current schedule, which is like in eight and a half hours. Okay. Good. Straight down. Now I just need to compose myself and hope that there's an altar. Oh, there's no need to do that. Because... Well, yeah, just the mitt, that's all that's missing. Glasses I'm not really worried about, they're not useful in the Cosmic Ocean, or Skeleton Key. Then we shall see. Doggle. Oh, I forgot about you. <laughs> Oops. Get through. There's no altar, is there? I'm not. I don't know. Oh, what the shit? Oh, I see. It's this way. They want. One of them jumped onto the spikes, and the other one's now gonna follow suit as a result. Oh, no, wait, he's here. Oh, good, he's stuck. Haha! <laughs> he's not gonna die. Okay, I'll be back. I don't really want anything from here, it's just to get the extra health later. <laughs> I almost threw that. Trying to pay extra attention. Just make sure that I'm not gonna... I was gonna say cause myself unnecessary injury, but... Can you interest me in some pace? Yeah, that's the third time. But it doesn't feel that bad getting it this time, because I didn't go to an extra effort to acquire it in this stage. Also, we got the Maddock, that is perfect. That is what we need to ensure that we're carrying forward the uh, accessories. No. 
bullets here. There we go. That's that's the safety point for them. Sitting sends buffs. <laughs> what kind of dog are you sitting? Okay, hang on. Oh shit, sorry. No, no, no. I didn't, I didn't mean to whip you. I didn't mean to whip you. It's alright. As long as I don't do that again. Okay, let's just put you down. A Leon Burger. Huh. Okay. Probably doesn't help that there's like a cat making sounds here. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to get in there. Let's just leave that there for now. We'll come back to it. Um, I got plenty of bombs. I'm gonna defuse this situation. I'm trying to think if I want the eggplant or not. If I should even bother. Because the thing is, I feel like... It kind of fucks you up more than it helps. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I felt like when I did have it all... It just didn't go well. Hey, you want some paste? How about some paste? Um... Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't see an entrance. Alright, we got a minute. Um, I've thought about it, and I'm gonna opt against the eggplant, I think. Hold on. I'm gonna opt against it. Um, let's just make sure you're carrying what you need to carry. And you can carry that. Oh, shit. Um, I don't want to hit him again. I feel like if I hit him again, they're gonna revolt. So, no eggplant. Wait, oh, you didn't carry the clone gun forward. What the fuck? I thought you had it in your hand. Well, that's just shit. 
Oh, well, there's not a lot of sense in carrying them forward. I'm just gonna let them die. Wait, right, you're never having kids solely because baby food is disgusting. <laughs> really? It's not that bad. What if someone else was to feed the baby? Ah, <laughs> oh, oh. That was almost death. Well, I don't know. That's a little disappointing. No. You're never having kids because you have nieces and being the cool auntie is way better. Yeah, I mean, I guess the reasoning some people have is either they don't want to go through childbirth or they want to, like, I guess not bring a, a child into like a potentially dead planet or approaching dead planet. What else is another reason? Um, but I've never heard just, oh, baby food smells. Not that it's invalid, like baby food does smell. Some people just don't like babies, which I can understand. You're kidding about the baby food? Well, I don't know. You said confession. It, if the okay confession wasn't part of that sentence, I, I would have been like, okay, she's kidding. Fuck. The ice. A toddler who needs a family. That makes sense. Hey, blood, please. I don't know if I should be bothering with this because, like, for this to work, I have to make use of the resources I have. Although, I do have a lot of them. Uh, yeah, maybe it'll be fine. Because with this, it'll add up to 40, which means I just need to be stingy about it. Do I want kids? Yeah, I mean, I like the idea of kids. I'm in a big family, and, uh... I get along with children. Especially because I feel like I would, uh... It's not that I w have knowledge to impart, it's more I would like to do little activities. And stuff, you know? Kind of like how my dad did with me, you know? Introduced me to a computer and that kind of thing.
figured out like what I what I what I personally enjoyed and you know did whatever he could to fuel that. Yeah. But, you know, who knows when that'll happen. Ah, uh, simple servant of wood marked by the snake. Alright. I know um, I went quiet, just, this room fucking sucks. The amount of times I've accidentally gotten crushed in it. Okay, there we go. Cool. You think I'll make a good dad? Ah, oh. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I mean, fuck, I've had practice. Three younger brothers and a bunch of younger cousins. It's no exaggeration, I'd say, like, 15, 20. You know, my dad worked a lot. And, uh, yeah, I was... <laughs> I was basically helping my mom with my younger brothers. doing this because I, I desperately require this. <laughs> By the grace of God, you're free tomorrow. What, like, randomly? Or just, uh, like, you came to a consensus. Wait, where were you? I wanted... I thought I had a minion following me, but it just wasn't in the end. Um. Oh, that 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 part of the ho ho k. Oh my god. All right, hang on. I. I should probably let this thing die. All right, good. Oh shit! I should have ran it in there. Oh, doesn't matter. Um. I'm gonna do my best to conserve. Even though I know it's like a fucking terrible decision. Actually, it's not that bad. It's actually not that bad. I've, I've gotten a, a lenient version of this. Alright, I've lucked out. Usually it's a fucking nightmare to get down there, but... Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Paying attention. Just making sure this goes well, because if it doesn't, there's, there goes 40 fucking minutes. Jeez, alright, we're good. Um, so, does this mean you're gonna go out, Sandy? I assume it does. Oh yeah, and when I see my brother, or one of my brothers tomorrow, I'll get to pick up uh, the latest Yakuza game. So, he works at um, the equivalent of GameStop. He got 
He got hours back, which is nice. Because he got his hours cut during the whole pandemic thing. So he bought that he bought that for me a while ago. With his staff discount. And I just haven't been able to go get it because of the whole pandemic thing. Yeah, EB. Yeah, he works at EB. Um Yeah, so the only- because that was the only one I was missing from the series, the latest entry that came out on PS5. So I've got the entire- the entire Yakuza catalog now. It's a pretty good time to get into that series, like all of them are playable on one console. But yeah, we'll uh, be playing Yakuza 2 as the first title when I get back from my little break. And we'll be in an hour where... Should be a bit better to watch. Oh my god, that was close. I'm kind of curious to see where the story is going to go and how they're going to top themselves. Yeah, that's all right. I feel good about that. That's not too bad. That's... manageable. Ooh, I almost whipped him. Jeez. That was close. Don't do that. That's too risky. Oh, shit. Battery. It's okay. Lucky that happened at a uh, non non critical time. Give me a sec. There we go. I was like, why did I stop moving? <laughs> I've been pretty lucky with the empty battery. Oh wow. That's Jeez. That's somewhat of a dick move. There's no altar, right? that across and yeah I just gotta play super focus once I get to cosmic ocean I'm just gonna have to try and not use as many resources I basically have half um Ugh. okay that can just go I mean, half the resources I had when I got to stage 91. Put it that way. That's the thing, like... You could have all the items. You could have maximum resources. You could have... Maximum life. But you just don't know how it's gonna go down. Like, there, for example, I should be livid. But yesterday I had one life and I got to stage 50, but then other times I've had two lives and I've only, like, barely cleared the first 10.
so I, I guess I, I just play it by ear now. It's it's like yeah, that that fucking sucked, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, I, I personally don't believe in this, but doesn't mean it's out of the question. Fuck. Okay. As long as I don't take any more damage, it should be okay. Also, all it takes is like a mummy and then I'm back up to full health. Okay, that will be fine. Alright. This music reminds me of Metroid for some reason. Please shoot. Thank you. Got it. Okay, we're good. I just needed to shoot one more time and then we're good. Got it. Alright. I have a pretty good track record for beating this thing now. I can't say I've fucked it up any... <laughs> any time recently. Alright, here we go. Let's see how far I can get. Oh shit, careful. One. Wait again. Two. Um, Alright, let's get down. You don't think... You've seen me lose to it, really? Yeah. Lost to it plenty of times. Not in recent memory. Alright, that's easy. Top left. And yeah, I'm gonna be on resource management here. Top left, top left, top left. Fuck. Ah, oh, you asshole. Okay. Top left. Okay. That was almost over right away. Jeez. Alright. One. Fuck. Okay. Bottom left. Get away. Okay, it's okay. I have to I have to deal with that thing, I think, maybe. Get fucked. Australia North of Boomerang. Okay, that was interesting. I don't know how it managed to fall there. Um, hmm. I love the music in this area, it's so nice. Oh, this is stuck in a loop. Fuck. Yeah, 
Okay, let's not try. I just wanted to get the free blood. I need to try and be recovering health. Also, this is not great. Okay. The third one should be somewhere here in the middle. This is just an awkward stage. Okay, let's look up. There it is. Okay. And now I need my plan to get out. Um, yeah, this way. A little risky, but I, I was confident in it. Okay. Throwing a marker. That scared me. <laughs> that scared me. I was like, what the fuck is that? It's a gem. It's not going to hurt you. Okay, one, two. I'm trying to collect blood as well as I go. Alright, there's three. Okay, wait for it. Go. Okay. Uh, okay. One. One. Yeah, let's just use it. Two. All right, we're looking for the exit now. There's the exit. All right, top right. Um, I should probably investigate what this is. Yeah. Nice. As long as I keep doing that, I'll, I'll be good. Oh, jeez. Okay, careful. Just drop on it slowly. Alright. And that's three. Okay, we know where it is. Top right. What is Sandy doing on her day off? Ah, uh, good question. Ah. Uh. Alright, one. Leave that be. Shit. Two. find the exit. Alright, there's the exit. Mark it with a rip because it's not straightforward. So one thing I want to do, uh, probably starting soon. I think it comes out in two weeks. Um, I want to see if people are keen to see the live-action Cowboy Bebop that's airing on Netflix. And I'm also going to rewatch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure before the next part starts 
in December. But I don't know. Let's see if there's interest in it. As long as you have Netflix, you can watch it. I just don't know if Netflix can do viewing parties. At least natively. It sounds amazing, but you've had to swear off Netflix. Oh, okay. Oh, fair enough. Two. Where is three? There is three. come from below. Oh, okay. There's one more still. I thought that was three. Yeah, we got... for a little bit. One thing I've learnt is if something falls off the edge, you wait like 10 seconds. Okay, should be good. It's two. I would like to see what's in there, but it's, it involves too much. Yeah. Leave it be. Nice try. Five. Fuck. I got the feeling this might be in the middle. Alright, how do we get out? Oh, shit. Okay, noted. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the only way I can address this is like this. It's too risky to go to the right. Oh, wait, that's two. What the fuck? Uh, this is not good. Where's three then? Fuck off. I might have to do that just to get around. I just worry that it's somewhere here in the middle. Oh, not good. Okay, gotta go this way. Shit! I might, I might lose here. There it 
Jesus. Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, lucky. <laughs> okay. I'm good. Uh, yeah, mark it. I hate when jungle stages do that, when their perimeter is surrounded by those cursed dudes and then... Motherfucker. And you have to get to the middle. Uh, alright. Two, potentially? No, that's two. Okay. Also, I think Sandy may have fallen asleep. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure that's fired. Oh, there it is. Okay. What time is it there? Um... I mean, it'd be night time. I wanna say... 10 o'clock? Maybe? If I'm getting my time zones right. <laughs> I think it's 10pm. Oh fuck, jeez, I thought that was a block. Oh, you, you are there. Okay, no. Okay. Also, for Judge's Bizarre Adventure, I just clicked, um... There's other ways to watch it other than Netflix. It's an anime. It's just... Well, okay. I'm not sure about the latest part. The one that's airing in December, because I think Netflix has the exclusive rights to it. But everything else is like... is definitely available elsewhere. One. It's, it's pretty common, like, it's one of the most popular animes of all time. It's pretty easy to come by. It's just when it does air, I don't know how that'll be like. Oh, that's just annoying. Um, okay, I need to think this through. I need to go underneath. Okay. That fucking sucks. I think the arrow is going to fall down into safety, though. Um, it's not. Shit. Fuck. I got- That's what I was trying to avoid. I'm dead. Yep. I didn't even do anything there. I didn't- I didn't do anything. That stage can be just as deadly just because there's- There's that. Alright, that's over. It's alright. I didn't have the most confidence in that one. I did nothing wrong. That was just bullshit. Just the physics of Cosmic Ocean. I should have probably gone and moved away from the edge and just gone inwards, but oh well, it is what it is. Mm -mm. 
Alright, we'll, we'll see how this one goes. When I got cut Bowser to Super Lucky, so I prefer the Shave Me or the Chunky. Uh, depends on the mood. I know there are some Greeks that absolutely hate, like, shave meat being associated with them. Um, but yeah, one is like the Donna style, which is the shave meat, and then the uh, off the spit lamb. I like both, but, um, yeah, depends how I'm feeling. I also go by, like, how it looks, because sometimes if it looks a little too charry or it's, like, a small amount that's on, I won't get it. You can't stand the shaved meat. You don't know if it's actually different, but it has a taste you don't like. I mean, it's, it's basically sausage. More like a lamb sausage than, yeah, anything else. Also, that sucks, but I guess it's nice to know I don't have to go back. We got climbing gloves. This is a good start. But yeah, that's just, uh, it's more like a sausage. Sorry, Turkey. Out of my control. That's what it is, tastes like sausage, not pieces of meat. Yeah, I mean. It, it just depends on the mood. There are some places that do it that it's alright. That's the thing, it's... It just depends on the place. Because some of them might get like a pretty cheap one and then it doesn't taste as good but the ones that do it well I think it's it's good you know they season it correctly okay um why not oh okay fuck off There we go. Damn. This is kind of an amazing start. Buckle. I mean, equipment wise, I can't really ask for much else. Um, the shaved meat tastes pretty good if you put it on pizza as well. That's kind of in, like, the context of... Fuck! Ah, oh, I hit the corner of that ceiling. It threw my, my jump off. Because I had the, the jump boots. That's my bad. I wasn't paying attention. Damn, that was a good start as well. I had everything. Oh well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's fine. We move on. <laughs> As of late, like, my mentality has been... Yeah, it, it could have been a good run, but... I've had really good runs happen from... from less. 
Just because I have everything doesn't mean it's going to go well for me. It's been especially true later. Watch it be a completely garbage shot now. It'll be like weapons only. And thing attempting to poison me. Alright, that's not bad. Um, however... I might just criminal this. So you can double criminal this. Damn it. Mr. Mr. Worth shot. This is a shit stage. <laughs> I should just restart when I see stages like this. Uh, uh, that's not too bad. As long as I can afford something. Nope. Okay, this is a restart. No way that's about to happen twice. That's just going to be a nightmare to get anything. You have to have stages like this, where it's... You can go left to right pretty pretty freely. And even if you can't, it's minimal effort to get through. Trying to, I was thinking what's easier, trying to save it or hitting it and then moving it. Okay. This is gonna suck, isn't it? Because it's split down the middle by that dude. I guess let's see. Hmm. Give me the same thing that I just bought. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll do an ult, uh, a curse thing. I was about to say altar, but I meant curse. Alright, that would have been fine anyway. Fortunately, the urn isn't here. Alright. Uh, across... myself. I 
It's a lot harder to pull off when it's, it's dark. And, uh, you can't see. I mean, yeah, it is there, but I don't know where the urn is. Just finding anything sucks. Alright. Let's just hope this gets better. over here. Hold on. No, no, no. Come. come. Yeah, back, back. Stop. I didn't think that through. Careful. Ah, I should have rescued the other one. Damn it. have to get rid of this thing if I want to come back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have to go through there. Okay. Um. Go. That almost pissed her off. Is the alien compass not available the way I do the run? No. Um, to get the alien compass, you have to go through temple instead. And the reason I'm against that is not so much that it goes through temple. It's more that you don't get to keep Vlad's cape. Um, because you have to sacrifice yourself on an altar. Oh, I know you don't. You can keep Vlad's cape, it's just... Okay. To get the tablet... To get the tablet in Temple... You have to, uh... You have to go to that land of the dead. That's the problem. And the tablet is needed so you can get the doggo. So, I mean, you could get the alien compass, but then you'd have to be willing to do... ...the, uh... ...the skip. Where you don't get the doggo and you use rope instead to get up there. Which is its own process. <laughs> it's... It's doable. I haven't learned how to do it properly, but it's just... I don't know. I don't think that's the problem with Cosmic Ocean. For me, is... It's more that, uh... It's just random, at the end of the day, like... It's just... Literally nothing I could do there. See what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes, shit like that will just happen. Like, what can you say? What can you even say about stuff like that? Other than fuck, like...
Um, yeah, I don't know. The sample route would give you the elixir, which... Okay. The elixir prevents one poison or one curse from happening. As in, you take the hit, but then you don't get the effects of it. So curse, you'd be, your health would be reduced to one, but you wouldn't actually be cursed. And then healing effects are doubled. So if I could, if I could learn that skip and keep Vlad's cape, it's actually really good. But it's just, then that's just a whole other process. As far as I'm concerned, it's versus just kind of just playing through it and just getting through the game normally. Um, yeah, that's a, that's about it. I hate temple stages enough. Ugh, I just. Anyway, it might be something worth considering, but for now, I'll stick to what I, it's not what I'm comfortable with, it's more what I feel like isn't going to make me have a conniption on stream. <laughs> that is all. You hope to see us someday in person. Made you happy over a really hard few months. Aww, <laughs> Sandy. Well, I hope we get to see you too. Always talk about, like, eventually me having... Because, you know, I'm always, obviously going to be super popular, right? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, fucking, what do you call it? One of those con events. I'll go on tour. Oh. Uh, well, I don't have to carry the key. I can just buy the skeleton key, so that's one. I don't think I need to rescue the pet either. That and that. Cool. That quote. I'm trying to think what what Mr. Burns tries to get Lisa to say on The Simpsons when he runs for mayor. Oh, that's right. Mr. Burns, your campaign is like that of one of a runaway freight train. Why are you so popular? <laughs> uh, I don't know why that came to mind. Well, that just fucking sucks, doesn't it? Oh, you can just... Where is, where is my luck? This character's meant to be lucky for me. You consider to me to be popular. Well, I all right. I kind of meant it in like uh, maybe popular was the wrong word. More hinting, doing it as a career, career streamer. There you go. Career streamer that can like rent a venue and sit at a sit at a booth or something for a few hours. <laughs> Have a panel. Oh, 
I'm like a cult classic. <laughs> I like that. But that probably means that I won't peek until I'm dead or like well past my prime. Like the mainstream won't get it until I'm dead. It's like, oh, haha, <laughs> funny man makes noises and blows himself up on stream. I get it now. He was saying penis instead of pizza. If you watch Yakuza, you will get that joke. I just need to post more hand photos. Oh, I... You know what? Like, I both like and dislike that that's a thing here. Like it in the sense that, of course, it's it's on point with just all the different things that have happened here. But then it's kind of like... <laughs> those that don't know, it's like, wait, what? What, is, what about this dude in, in hands? That's the, that's the double-edged sword factor. Um... Is this just gonna fuck me? Okay, no, it didn't, thankfully. But I mean, damn. When I was doing Pokemon Go to go on walks, like... We did a raid with uh, a viewer's mother. Which was... That's like peak content right there. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Played Pokemon Go with a viewer's mother. It's, it's great. Oh, shit. Oh, it's gonna die. Well, I wasn't about to drop down there and die myself. You hate what you just did there? Oh, I'm not even gonna read it. I'll just... I probably need to go take a cold shower after doing that. Look, we're not going to get anything done here anyway. I'm just going to restart. This, this was bad. The only dad jokes allowed are like... If you're doing, uh... God of War references. It always has to follow the format where Kratos has to tell his son to shut the fuck up. Father. Father, I've brought you back from the dead. Are you finally proud of me, father? Shut the fuck up, boy. A true warrior learns how to res the dead and then shuts the fuck up about it. <laughs> that was the greatest thing to come from playing that game. to keep doing that with the, the next game in the series. 
Although he's going to be an angsty teenager, so I might have to rethink it a little. Man, if the MCA wasn't a thing, I'd I'd be like uh, I'd be setting up a joke with cats in the cradle. So I heard the pet, I don't know where it is. And wait, you just snorted over what? What made you snort? What what part? Didn't I hear the No, it's on the ground. Fuck. Drop it. Ah, oh. Okay, well, let me check here. There it is. Okay, um, as far as an entrance to that goes... Let's just see if there's an obvious support. Not really. I, I can't see a spot that... Yeah, no. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use a bomb. Just so I can get the present. Shit. Okay, I'm going to use a rope. Then do that. Worth it. You've recovered <laughs> from what? What set that off? Was either Kratos or like the the whole like uh, I don't even want to say the word, but whatever you posted. You're either laughing at your own message or you're laughing at what I said. Oh shit. Um. Okay, leave that there. I can stay there. Turkey, please. Thank you. Both. Okay. Oh, jeez. Wait. Okay, it's not dead. Good. I'm not gonna dignify that by reading it. I'm just gonna let it let it happen. You can talk amongst yourselves about that. Oh, damn it. Um. Ugh. Ugh. That's <laughs> so shit. Gotta move to Turkey. You may have just broke Sandy. All, all it takes is like, uh... Whatever that was and, uh... Wordplay on taking a shit on a letterbox. On a letterbox, not in the letterbox. See how, see how every time I say it, it's the correct use of it? Because there's a very big difference between the two. This will be great. You fuck. Come on. Come on. Oh, no! 
I want my prize. 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 I'm getting my fucking prize. No! I want my prize! All right, well, there's the end of that one. How dare I bring up you threatening to shit on your mailbox? See, that's the thing, I didn't say you specifically. If anything, you just ousted yourself. I didn't say, oh, remember the time Sandy was talking about shitting on my mailbox? No, I just generally brought up the topic. Did, didn't mention anyone. You could have just, uh, just let it go. <laughs> but now we all know. You just played yourself. Um. Mm, okay, no, that's fine. Manageable. And this, how dare I bring it up? Sure, I can climb back up. Um, ba 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 da da. Get the skeleton key. <laughs> what it would be like to be new here and just joining in the middle of one of those conversations. like about not playing the same game is that basically most people have a different story as to uh, whatever their first interaction with me was or like whatever they saw first. I could have been doing very different things. Like some people could have could have been here and been like, well, yeah, very chill stuff happening and the mood at the time was very chill. Or someone could have joined at the point at which, like, we're talking about mailboxes. Just as an example. Interesting. Alright, I'll, I'll buy it. <sighs> Fuck. Depending on the type of person it is, instant follow a walk back out slowly through a hedge. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I feel like it would be the latter. <laughs> Depending on what it is. You hope I constantly get haunted by that ghost. Ah. Well, yeah, we're, we're gonna be the best of friends. Me and that ghost.
Don't remember the first interaction. You think it was Terraria? Okay. Yeah, then the vibe in Terraria was like different. I can't say a lot of banter happened in Terraria. Like Terraria was me just kicking back and just building and. <laughs> I didn't think there was much like progression for a while. It was just me further expanding on what I had done. I was playing some drum and bass or something similar. Probably. That was like my... I would alternate in music depending on what I was doing or feeling. Sometimes it'd be chill. Good times. Also, I can't give Yang his turkeys because this game is a dick. Um... That sucks. Ah, oh, shit. Dead pet. No, wait. No. <laughs> Alright, now the pet is dead. Bad whip. That is my bad. Back before the DMCA tyranny. Yeah, I know. I mean, I know people that are still playing music on their streams and it's a case of you could probably do it but if you do get fucked for it yeah um and i guess you have to disable vods which i don't know i'm not even sure people even watch the vods <laughs> but it is useful for me if i want to go back and highlight stuff later that i forget to highlight or that if we don't clip something right away, I can always go back. Apparently Twitch is going to introduce this uh, new feature called Rewind. Where you'll be able to rewind l l whilst it's happening live, so... You'll be able to go back up to two minutes. And then just jump back to live. So if you do miss something, you can just quickly go back and see it. Kind of like what a DVR would do. Oh, we got skeleton key. Don't need to. Don't need to worry. Ah, oh, okay. Oh man, this is so dark in here. You'd miss whatever's happening currently and then have to stay two minutes in the past permanently. I mean... If it's something like this, for example, where you're not going to miss out on much within two minutes, like you're not going to be watching two minutes behind. Like you miss my death or something, then it makes sense. You go see it and then you just come back and not a whole lot will have changed since then. Oh, hello, doggo. Well, I'm expecting you to see... Oh, 
dog is killing you can't decide what it wants. <laughs> Sounds like a pet. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. Wanted to get out safely. Um. Okay, one sec. That's gonna. That's just gonna be there. We'll be fine. One thing I've been trying to do, very slowly, is like, I started compiling the end of year highlight reel video. Which, this year is going to take me longer, because I go through my folders and the amount of different games I've played this year, it's kind of crazy. Some of them I, I felt like I played last year, but they were this year. I'd say there's like at least 20 different things I gotta filter through. Going through ghosts and goblins. Fucking hell, that game took a lot out of me. Jeez. I hate this. This is probably gonna kill me. Okay, good. There we go. I spent four hours on that level with those burrito things. Burrito ghosts. Jawa Burrito Ghosts, I believe was the term we used for them. Don't disappear. Oh, you cunt. Okay. This year has gone for four years, so it makes sense. It's felt that way. It has certainly felt that way. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. There's going to be some good stuff in it to be able to look back on. Like... Between Yakuza, Wadham, Ghosts and Goblins, this, um, Kukiomi, there's like, just so much little, little things that happened across stuff. Also, I, this run it's just sucks. Just straight up sucks. I'm not gonna do well in it. Yeah, this is just Volcano being an arsehole. I think I'd rather just restart. Be back soon? Alright, no worries. We get to get back into Animal Crossing as well. I don't think I'm gonna do, like, a Halloween game this year. I can't... Well, okay, I have one, but I'm just not sure I want to start it. There is one in particular that... It's kind of been sitting there for a while, and I just don't know what to do with it. And I guess it could be a Halloween game. But, at the same time, I don't want to start something new just before I said I was gonna take a break. For like a week. So I'm not sure. Animal Crossing, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. It'll 
be nice. Especially since it's a sizable amount of content. Fuck. The key's on the other side. I'm gonna waste too many resources getting it. That's just bad. I didn't think that one through. When is Halloween anyway? Like day wise. I haven't actually checked. Today's the 23rd. Oh, it's on a weekend. Right? Oh, no. Well, technically it is, but it means it would be. Yeah, it's on a Sunday, which means it would be Monday for me. I think I could do something, but then, nah. That would mean it would be a Monday for me. Why couldn't it be on a Saturday? That would have been perfect. I might have to restart again, sadly. No. I keep getting these levels where the important thing is split off and I don't want to waste all my bombs and rope just getting to it. It just... It doesn't... It doesn't help. I could do a stream anytime that week and it could be a Halloween one. That's true, but I meant more like... Maybe I could see if people wanted to watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure as like a Halloween thing. Because the first part is sort of Halloween-y. It involves vampires and the undead. <laughs> and it's like, uh, how many episodes? Like seven or eight? It's not that long, the first part. It's pretty short. What? <sighs> Every now and then that'll get me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus. I'm not really getting anywhere. <laughs> ah, leave it, it's fine. Um, there's no, yeah, I'm just gonna have to drop this. We're at the exit anyway. Okay. That's a good shop. Um, I'm probably going to be able to afford it. I don't need to steal. It's just the boots that I would want.
shit. Oh, this is dangerous. Yep. This, uh, this game sure has a way. Do that be. Okay, I need to hurry up because if I do want to make it in there one more time. I gotta make sure it's, it happens before dinner. Also, this is a good stage. Wait, where did the pet go? <laughs> How? How did that happen? Um, you may go. Actually, I should... Deal with the bat first. Okay. This is good. Any more money? Yeah, but it's not worth it. Alright. Nice. Pretty much 20,000, so I can buy whatever I want. And it is bad. So I can get back up without rope. Ugh. No. Ugh. How much health did I lose there? Um, that hasn't been set off yet. Um, just do that. I need to do it anyway. Hey, welcome back, Zoe. Alright. And... As you can see, I haven't really gotten anywhere lately. To be honest, I'm kind of thinking of what pizza to get. <laughs> what pizza and from where? That's... Currently on my mind. And then what to watch. Squid Game. Uh, I don't feel like Squid Game. I'm gonna be eating. Squid Game for me would have to be like a a nighttime thing. I get into bed or on the couch, curl up, and then just watch it. Lights off. Like with something like that, that's a bit of a thriller. I can't. I have to. Be in the mood to watch it. Oh, I didn't give Yang his turkeys back. Um, yeah, I'm really not paying attention. I guess not that this is disastrous, like, it's fine. Okay, now it's kind of disastrous. I was expecting him to roll forward, but he didn't. Um, I'm just gonna use the bombs here. If 
found a place that has a chunky meat container. Oh dear. That's just making me hungry. Oh. Yeah, but I'm carrying two turkeys. Okay, I guess... Well, I wanted to sacrifice both turkeys, but then game was like, Ah, oh, let me move these turkeys out of the way. Nice try, asshole. <sighs> Lucky I have that. Okay, little idiots in here. Glorious sacrifice. That one's dead. Oh my god. Not just that, it pissed off. Um. She's still angry with me. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Okay, hang on. It looks like there's a sub-system of tunnels here. Oh. Okay, hang on. Alright, I have access to both keys. What the fuck? I mean, this is saving me time, technically. Jeez, dude. <laughs> Alright, no need for keys. That's kind of cool. It was all linked to- Oh, wait, I can't go out that way. Um, I need a key to get out that way. Which I will pay for. Then I'm back up top. Effectively. Yeah, cool. Damn it. <laughs> now I'm debating whether I should get meat. Ah. Oh, uh, well. This is probably the better idea. Fuck! There we go, missed it. Um, but she's not gonna give me Kapala. Because she is angry with me, right? Pretty sure this will just... Forgive- Forgiveness, that's it. Alright, that's the best I can hope for. And then, let's just get out. Oh shit. Oh, fuck's sake. Alright. <laughs> Got it. Um. There's another altar. Alright, I need to. Oh, this is risky. Got it. There was always a chance that, like, I was gonna piss her off again, but... Damn it! Um, but I can get in here, so... Wait. <laughs> Alright, I gotta hurry up. I'm not doing well. 
I only have one rope left, then... Alright, now I have seven bombs. But nothing else, really. Oh, what the shit, where is it? Man. There is a way back up there, easily. Put this down. I'm going to try and look for the pet. Change of pace! Ah. I kinda knew that there was no rescuing that thing. I don't think I've played as you today. Man, I'm gonna stretch for a sec. sitting down for a while and I figured I should stretch. There we go. I also gotta figure out like a good time to open these anniversary edition Pokemon cards because they're just kind of sitting here. I want to see if I got that Blastoise. <laughs> I know we joked about hand content but it is there. Alright, uh, I guess that, that's fine. the right move there. Shit. I might be able to get this up. Oh, no! Uh, stay up. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Damn it, nearly. Alright, it's gonna be a dead sacrifice, but still. I threw it too hard before. It's my bad. Um, alright, I think we're done here. Wait. Wait. 
Are we? Hang on. Isn't that meant to be a shop? No. It's not guaranteed. Ugh. Ah, oh, you would. Um. Alright, I guess do this because we can get the urn. And drop a rope down. Yeah, I don't know. This is gonna entirely depend on what the next stage is. Ugh. Cause harm to the altar, that's all I care about. How come you can only whip the top burnt pile and stack? You can whip the bottom one, it's just. I whip the top one so then I use it as a, uh, a jumping point. So, like here, for example, I need to get up here, so I go like that. And then I do that. And uh, if you're too close to it and the bones come crashing down, you do take damage from it. Because, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't the game fuck you over? Just one more way the game can hurt you. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I need to put you down. I have errored. Not gonna make it. Fuck. It's okay. Oh wow, what? We're already up to that? Holy shit. I didn't realize we were already up to that. Power pack, that's cool. Um, I need to take it off though, otherwise I'm gonna damage that thing too much. Oh, got it in time. Okay, we gotta go. if I want to return turkeys. Ten seconds. Just go in. Got the reward. Alright, worth. I don't have a rope though, but... Um, no, I can't get back up. I mean, I remember the first time I died to a damn bone pile. <laughs> it was not fun. I was like, oh, okay. I see. It can also happen. I want to get some money. I have a lot of items, but they're not particularly useful items. They're not boots or anything like that. Alright, come back. I need I need you to... He's not going to make it that way. Alright. Then, come here. Come here. Wait. Adjust again. There we go. Shit. Okay, we're good. Go 
got it. And I don't have to. Oh, fucking dick. I don't have to compensate either. I just have Doggo walk down there. Thank you. Wait, what? Oh wow, okay. You just went straight down there, huh? I've always just thought if this would be any easier with multiplayer or not. Hang on, I need to dig. Like if multiplayer is a liability or is, is it actually Actually worth it. There's pros and cons to it, I guess. Fuck off. Alright, I need to get down here to get back out. Um, probably here. It's a safe bet. Yep, we just kill. Alright, we're good. And Yang set up his shop somewhere where his precious turkeys can't be harmed. little dude out too in a sec yeah now I can get out um and then hold on push this along do that now we can get out here I do believe we're good now. Right? Yeah, we're good. Good stage. Um. Okay. Let's just go in. Let me use this one up first. Still there, just playing Animal Crossing. Ah, <laughs> fair enough. Every time I go back to that game, there are... Uh... It's always passive-aggressive, like, oh! We used to have a mayor that looked just like you. But then he disappeared one day. Please don't stop. Good. be able to get it either way. Excuse me, did I just hit my broken pickaxe into me? Yep, that's exactly what I just did. Oh, there's more over there. Jeez. Alright, well, look. 
you gotta get all the Halloween shit. I wonder if, uh... Huh. Cause we're in a different season here. I wonder if it just associates Halloween with fall or if it... Like, is... Date specific. Yeah, I'm happy to just get out of the stage. Uh, I kind of have to go up there. Unfortunately. I don't have... I do not have the bombs sufficient enough to, uh... Wait, what happened there? How did Doggo die? Oh, okay, that's how. These things are such assholes. Okay, uh, I guess now we wait. Uh, let me stand here. I think I'm safe. to order the restaurant closed so they couldn't find the delivery driver. Fuck. I hate it when that happens. Time is it? Oh, it's 3 30. I thought it was later for some reason. Is that like late lunch or early dinner? You would have waited. You just complained that it was cold and get your money back. Ah. Yeah, that's a good call. That's the thing with like some of those delivery things is. For a minor scrub, if you complain about it, they will... They will, uh, refund it. It's kind of like... Alright, in a normal situation... I would- I wouldn't complain about cold food. I'd be like, just heat it up. It's fine. Within reason, of course. But then with those services, it's kind of like, well... You can get the whole thing back for free. Worried that that was gonna fuck me over. One thing I remember just now is McDonald's has a uh, has a spicy McChicken back. I kind of like that stuff. But then it, then it'd be like getting McDonald's, which uh, I don't know. I find that. 
getting it out of choice is a bit bad. I don't know. For me, anyway. I try not to do it. For me, it's always like a, well, nothing is open and I'm hungry. But I do, do like that spicy McChicken. McDonald's is hangover food. Yeah, I mean that too, right? I'm talking like completely normal circumstances, you know, as a viable dinner option. There we go. I just find that I'll end up being hungry later as well, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to be good. Not that pizza is much better, it's just... It's less worse. I ate far too much chicken. You bet uh, McDonald's is better than yours. It is. Go watch the Try Guys visit Australia. Um... Particularly the chicken. Chicken is of much higher quality. The thing with our fast food is, uh... Like, a lot of the meats... Because we don't have a meat industry like America has. Um... The big chains don't own... They don't own farms, basically, so they outsource the meat stuff to, uh... To, like, farming companies or farms in general. So it ends up being better. The McChicken is like a giant nugget patty. Yeah, so currently they have that, but it's spicy, and they're doing a double version of it. So just imagine that, but spicy. And doubled. somewhere that each slice of pizza has about the same number of calories as a Big Mac, but that seems wrong. Maybe... I would imagine that that would be the case at, like, Pizza Hut or Domino's. But not, like, the pizza chains... Well, it's not even a chain, right? A pizza place, like... Like, say, a Ligon Street pizza place. I doubt that would be the case. But Domino's and... Uh, Pizza Hut? Absolutely. I imagine that would be the case. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a nutritionist. <laughs> Drink sizes are ludicrous in the US, yeah. I love how uh, Parks and Rec joke about it. They talk about like the small size and the baby size. Like the small. <laughs> the small is, is ridiculous. It's probably bigger than, than our largest large. You're moving, that's it. 
Ah, uh, well, more than happy to have you. I know what a big gulp is. A big gulp is something you get at a 7-Eleven. It's effectively gigantic, massive fucking cup that you just fill with sugar, water. Frozen sugar water. Yeah, like, almost the size of a cat. <laughs> I reckon a small cat would be the size of a big gulp. Big gulp could hold two or three kittens. There you go. And it just takes me back to, uh... When we're trying to find the most ridiculous... Uh... Structure built with food ever. And the winner was, um... Mount Rushmore made out of beef jerky. And it was... Hang on, how much was it? Mount Rushmore... Beef jerky. It was, wait for it. Let me load it. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Prepare to see the most American thing you've seen in a while. Thirteen feet high, seventeen feet wide, translates to fourteen thousand cubic feet, don't know what that means. Nearly sixteen hundred pounds of beef, pork, turkey jerky. That's about five miles of meat if meat sticks were laid end to end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you hate it? Well... Yeah, I mean... You hate it, but you know damn well it's the most American thing you've heard today. You can you can hear the national anthem being played over it. I guess I'm okay with not saving them. Right, like I have twenty five health. I mean, don't get me wrong, it would be nice, but I just feel like they're just going to die. There's way too many... Okay, hang on. No! Oh, fuck. I guess you do that so your brethren can live. Also, this is not good. Oh, cool. Hang on, this is... Get him. Thank you. There will be an altar here, I just don't know where. No, no, oh, little idiot, why? He threw the dog. They're just gonna die. They're, they're officially dead. They can't get out of that corner themselves. Shh. 
set. Oh, oh, I got lucky. I got lucky. I got lucky. I got lucky. The gambling thing was somewhere I could reach. Put that down. Wait, I didn't read. I mean, okay, how about we say this? The most American thing when it comes to copious quantities of food and wasting food. Let's say that. And that conversation started from, like, a brick wall made out of jello. Died. Six minions gone. Um, I don't know if I can carry this forward. I don't have gloves, it's, uh, it's kind of average. I don't have resources either, so I kind of do need to try this. Right, we need to find a spot for our little idiot friend to survive somehow. I go to the effort of murdering the fish and things that would danger the little idiots, we should be okay. Bring you in here. I'm gonna trap you in here. There we go. Now I'm going to the other side. Oh, okay. Jeez. I worry. Okay, can you grab the sword? I'm gonna trust him with the sword. Okay, and I'm gonna take this forward. Okay, now I need to... Ensure... Oh. I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. There's an altar. Okay, get rid of that. <gasps> okay, hold on. No! Stop! Stop! Okay. Just, I need to make sure that this thing doesn't go any further down. I need to carry him. Fuck. This is probably not going to happen then. Yeah, I need to follow me in here and I need to find a spot for you. Oh, I think we're good. Just the Maddox. There, he can't get out. I lucked out. Okay. 
Uh, get him the clone gun. I got like a minute to do this in. <gasps> oh, you dick, no. No! Fuck off. Okay, gotta get him the clone gun quickly. Sorry, I'm focusing really hard on this. Because I don't want to fuck it up. I got a minute. I think I can just go straight down here. Do a swap. Okay, yeah. Okay, I gotta give him the gun and then go. 40 seconds. Oh, you don't want to pick up the gun? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I got 20 seconds, or he's gonna die. <sighs> uh oh, okay. I may have gotten this wrong. Ah, no, dead. I didn't have a rope. And I have five seconds. Uh, this is just a shit run. Yeah, he's dead. Unless I can get in there in the next five seconds. Alright, restarting. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I'm... I'm gonna get a drink of water chat. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, hey, Matter, how's it going? Sorry, you caught me in the middle of uh, being being killed. All right, give give me thirty seconds. I, I need some water. Talk amongst yourselves. Say hi. Okay, I have returned. So, there's one thing that I'm convinced of here about Australian wildlife is that it's evolved over time to deal with us. Dog is dead. Um, there's, I don't know if it's the same crows, but the, there's a family of crows, let's just say that. And every time the dumpsters are out, They've learnt how to open them, as a group. And, I'm not kidding. They, uh... <laughs> they pick out the McDonald's from the dumpsters. So, like, these crows in particular... They, they have developed a taste for McDonald's. And... I've noticed it the past couple of times and I thought nothing of it, but now I'm convinced that they pick out the McDonald's. Because one time I was taking out the trash and there was... There was like this leftover Chinese food on top. And obviously they had opened it, but they didn't take it. And then I thought about it, and every time I see them out there, they're always eating McDonald's. <laughs> so, yes, crows are super smart, and uh, they have a taste for the Big Macs, I guess. McDonald's is like engineered to be addicting. Oh yeah, no. There's also the psychology around their logo. Where, uh, 
My kids will salivate <laughs> when they see the golden archers. It's actually kind of sad that they're hooked on such garbage. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure there was like a study of it that like, uh, eventually kids get to that point where if they see it, they will salivate. I'll have to find it. Oh shit, I'm an idiot. Okay. Alright, let me do a... I'm gonna clean slate this. I'm gonna pick a new character and I'm gonna pay attention to what I'm doing. If you don't know what this game is, this game is... Think Indiana Jones. And... Think... A platformer. Then... The game will do everything in its power to murder you. That's, that's pretty much it. You'll hear me scream internally. They price their food based on the socioeconomics of the area they operate in. Cheaper and richer areas. I mean, from a country point of view, yes. There's also that, uh, what was it? I think it was in the museum or something, but they had that, that burger that like took forever to decompose because of all the additives in it. I mean, at the very least here in Australia, it's... It's all right. It's not great, but at least our food standards kind of keep them in check with certain things. Um. Yeah. Pricing between different neighborhoods. I mean, I'm not sure about Australia. I've never seen that happen here. Actually, no. You might be right, because if you're referring to, like, Perth and the mining... the mining, uh... areas... They, there, is, there is a little bit of a difference in that. Like, I know stuff in the mining towns is ridiculously expensive. And things in Perth in general, because they are the mining state here in Australia, things are priced a little higher on average. Oh my god, oh, these things! Do you know? Corporation, of course. You're gonna do that. Um. What was I saying? Anyway, uh, sorry Sandy, good night. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. Gold American capitalism. Oh, okay, so you missed out on this. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this up again. <laughs> Prepare to be Americanized. Yeah, we were talking about big gulps and, you know, the, the size of food in America, and then there was this monstrosity. 13 feet high, 17 feet wide, 14,000 cubic feet, 16,000 pounds of beef, pork, and turkey jerky. Ah... <laughs> uh. Thanks, you hate it. That is literally what everyone said. Um, but, I mean, oh, come on! <laughs> when it comes to food, it's one of the most American things I've seen.
Those are the kind of conversations we have here about the important things. The only reason I'm aware of that, the existence of that thing is because I don't even know how it came up. Like, I, oh, yeah. At the start of the stream, someone was talking about that they made a brick wall made out of jello. And so then I set the challenge to find the most dumb structure built by, by food. And that's what we came up with. There are a few other good contenders in there, but that one, that one was above all else. Okay, that's done. Take that. Can't afford any of that. Alright, I'll be back. Oh damn, I forgot to tell Sandy as well that the possums are back. <laughs> I don't want to hear it, Sandy. I know what you're thinking. Wait. They- yes, yes they are, and they already did the deed. I have possums that hang out in the trees near where I live, and they like to take a crap on my mailbox. On Sandy, on the mailbox, not in the mailbox. In would have been comedically spiteful. Yeah. I am not. Yep. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Aiden. <sighs> yep. I need to be more careful. Yeah. What kind of monster would crap in someone's mailbox or threaten to do so? It's just. No, no, <laughs> no, stop, stop. Ah. Don't play this game. Wait. Not everything wants to kill us in Australia, some animals just really want us to have a bad time. Yeah. It's a mix of things wanting to kill us and animals just being assholes. You're picturing someone bare ass wiggling up to a mailbox and awkwardly bending over and standing on their tiptoes to do that now, thanks. <laughs> well, uh, your, your friend Sandy. Your mate. Uh, did say such a thing. I don't even remember what- why was it that that even came up? I mean, I know I said something, but I don't- I- for the life of me, I don't remember what. Like, what led to that? I mean, possums aside... There was something that sparked the, hey Will, I know you don't know me very well. But just so you know, I'm going to fly halfway across the world and take a shit in your mailbox. Look, at some point, I, I did something wrong. So, because you love possums, I heard them outside and started to complain. But I mean, wouldn't you? If, if they did that on a regular basis, wouldn't you complain? I 
I didn't say that I hated possums, I'm just... The possums taking a dump on my mailbox was a bit of an inconvenience. <laughs> I, I gotta stop focusing on the possums and actually get somewhere here. Raccoons poop all over the deck at your place up north, so you empathize. There you go. That's how that's done. It's like, yes. I empathize, friend. I know what it's like for animals to defecate on your property. Oh, alright, that's fine. Run, run. Run. The possums are way cuter than the nightmare fuels that you have in the US. Wait, they have different ones? I didn't know that. Oh wait, yeah. They look more like giant rats, right? Compared to our ones that are more furry. Yeah, we have uh, those. We have the ibis, which are birds that will open up bins. We have pelicans that have been known to eat small dogs. <laughs> we have a species of bird that early in the morning is like, ha 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 Time to wake up, cunt! Um, what else? I'm not exaggerating, I mean, they don't say cunts, but they do laugh. I feel like I'm forget- oh, the magpies, yeah. Those things that if you get anywhere near them, they will attack you. What am I forgetting? I'm forgetting one important one. Your wife is that type of bird? What type of bird? The one that says, wake up, cunt. <laughs> or the swooping type. It's like... <laughs> I'm sure it's the swooping type. Swooping doesn't really count. It's not like they're actually going to hit you, but they do. <laughs> Before the lockdown happened, I used to go on walks and there was a particular part of my walk where it's pretty common to see someone get attacked by a magpie. And once uh, this dude, uh, yeah, head was uh, bleeding <laughs> from it. Don't have enough money. You're lurking for sure now. Okay, okay. I'll... I'll say less things to, uh... To alert your attention. Good night, Sandy. Thanks for popping in. I'll refrain from, uh... Wait. Okay. Lost my train of thought. Don't worry. It's all good. <laughs> the cunt type. Oh no. It's fine. They're actually adorable, those birds. It's just, I, I wish they wouldn't get up at the crack of dawn and just laugh. I don't experience them much in the city, but out where I used to live, uh, 
It's pretty common. <laughs> it was at a time where people would ask me about kangaroos on stream, which is a pretty common thing as an Australian. It's like top three things, drop bears, kangaroos, and what's it like living upside down? But I did used to live like 15 minutes away from basically kangaroo area. Okay, we're good here. Yeah. All right. So, Halloween isn't really a thing here, but I will ask, does anyone have any interesting Halloween plans? See, I would try to do something, but since we just came out of our lockdown here, I imagine everywhere is going to be booked out and or busy. Sandy, are you are carving pumpkins tomorrow? Ooh, that's cool. Man. <laughs> I see that so much on TV, but it's just something we we wouldn't do here. What we get at most here is like, sometimes parents will take younger kids out just to get candy, but there's like a 50-50 chance they'll even be dressed up. And then I guess, uh, like pubs or bars will, will do like the Halloween event. But beyond that, no one really does anything. You're not going to party this year or anything, but you have both a cool black cat costume and you do need makeup for it as well. Wait, what is it? Oh, Lilo Dallas from The Fifth Element. I, I read that wrong. <laughs> yes. You missed Halloween while you were in Korea. It's definitely an American thing. Yeah. I mean, it's grown in popularity. Um... As a kid, it was just non-existent, and then, like, towards the early 2000s, it kind of became more of a thing. But definitely nowhere near the level of, like, the whole season being associated with it. Because the thing is, it's spring here, so it's a completely different vibe. That would feel weird, Spring. You, you try to picture this one. Christmas. Picture your Christmas. Now picture having a barbecue on the beach. <laughs> or just really, really warm weather. To be honest, I, I kind of prefer it. I mean, I want to experience a real winter at some point. I'm sheltered in that way. But I do like my, uh, my summer Christmas. It has its, it has its advantages. Well, except, uh, when was it? Not last year. The year before when, like, half the country was on fire. I can come visit Sandy and you in Wisconsin and enjoy getting car stuck in the snow. Yeah, I I'm convinced that I'm go I'll enjoy it, but I think for maybe the first few days, I'm just going to be complaining. And you're going to call me a baby. The coldest temperature recorded in Melbourne was negative 2 Celsius, which I can't convert it to Fahrenheit right now, but that was in the late 1800s. Snow season here, it's like, oh, it's going to be a beautiful snow season. Get the kids ready, bring them this weekend, because after this weekend, the snow will surely be gone. 
will be like five centimeters of snow and we'll get the snow machine out to fill out the rest. <laughs> like... Twenty-eight-ish? Oh wow. Anything below 15 Celsius and you start complaining. You'd like Australia then. Because it doesn't go uh, colder. I mean, I always feel like there's plenty you can do to stay warm, but then there's also... There's also the side of, well, once it gets to that point where it's just extreme fucking cold, that's... I don't know. I could probably deal with extreme heat better. Because here, air conditioning is a given, that's the thing, it's... It's not an option. This <laughs> Practically every public venue and house will have it. Oh shit. Oh no. Where's the bow? Hang on. I think for me, our ideal climate would be like what Melbourne is in spring. Where it's, uh... Like between, when, at its coldest it's 15. And on average it's like, uh... 20 Celsius. Tw 20 to 25 Celsius. You know. Okay, don't get poisoned. Got it. Oh no! <laughs> Didn't die. Okay, I'm good. Uh, I'm also being wary of the time, because I, I do gotta get dinner and then... ...take a break, so we can do Link's Awakening later. I think I'm gonna finish that today. I remember the first half of that game just being a little bit long, but then the second half is pretty quick, because you don't have to backtrack as much. Uh, I'm just gonna leave the pet behind. Okay. No, don't, no. Why is there so much lava? Oh, uh, yeah, I got time. Okay, come on. Uh, yeah. Alright, not worth it. Okay. How are we doing? <laughs> I'm trying to think what the best move here is. Alright, let him- yep, good. That's, no, d don't- no, put, put the turkey down. Don't touch the turkey. This thing is gonna be responsible for my death. Oh no. Alright, we're good. Uh, I got no choice. Yeah, so what I'm doing currently in this game is uh, something only masochists do. There's three endings to this game. One of them is relatively easy to get, as long as you progress you'll get there. Another one you have to collect artifacts along the way and solve the problem. And then there's a third one where... If... You truly have little regard for your time and life... You will, uh... You will solve the artifact problem and then you will enter... A final area where you have to do 94 stages as a skill test and then you'll get your final ending. Let's 
so guess what I'm doing? Oh, vampire. Okay, get the cape. I'm usually not stubborn with games, but if the game lets me believe that I can do it, I will I will try my hardest to get it done. Alright, uh Ah oh, what oh shit, I thought that had fired. Okay. Cut the cape. Alright, let's get out of here. You can handle around 12 Celsius a night with appropriate jackets, but you prefer not to. Ugh. I wish some of the Europeans were here. You'd be hearing them going, well, what do you mean? There's children, they put us outside and we sleep in the, in the snow. So that builds up tolerance. Anything above 15 Celsius is too hot. My minions are most likely going to die. <laughs> Wait, please stop. Don't, no. Okay. If I get to the bottom of the stage before they accidentally murder themselves. No. 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 Okay. Just keep going. <laughs> One of them died. Alright. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to share a room or a house with someone that has a completely different temperature climate. Like, imagine it's winter and you're cold and you can't put the heating on because they have a higher tolerance. You and your partner are on a completely different body temps. Oh, really? But surely not like as extreme as I'm talking about, right? Like to the point where Oh, just that you like warm weather and he prefers it to be cold. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, Europeans say they like warm weather, but then it's like, oh no, what do you mean? 25 Celsius? That's too hot. I'm sweating in 25 Celsius. I think the highest I've ever experienced is 49. That was, that was something else. It, it just feels like an oven at that point. Like when you're preheating an oven and it's not quite there and you open to check, that's what it feels like, just outside. That was rough, yeah, no kidding. There was the video of the dude that uh, took a skillet outside and proceeded to cook some kangaroo meat. Just by putting it outside.
And then there was that one year where we had the blackout. Which that was not fun either. Then there was no air conditioning. You know, remember that one? I think I still have an image on an old hard drive, but... There were fires. I remember that. And then... The power went out and... The image of the power consumption chart just looked like it divided by zero. Like it was straight up and then it just goes into the negative scale. Wait, is that fine? Yeah, all right, cool. Okay. Some progress. Collect whatever money I can. Like the whole state. Uh, I think it was just Metro Melbourne. I don't think it was the whole, it was a statewide because the uh, country areas had backup. I can't remember what year it was. It would have been like at least 10 years ago. Mm. All I remember was that I went to work that day and it got to the point where when that happened, we were in the office because it was too hot to go outside. I was taking public transport to get to work, the train. The trains were down because of the heat. There was no air conditioning, and then my laptop was warning me <laughs> that it was gonna uh, do nasty things because it was too hot. So we were just sitting in that office because we couldn't do anything. Like, we weren't going home. I just remember, like, just getting stuff out of the freezer just to stay cool. It sucked. I remember having no gas for four to five days as a kid, like the whole state, a gas outage. Vaguely remember that. Okay. Uh, they're not going to survive this level. Look at all the spikes everywhere. This is what's going to happen. One of these little idiots is... No. no. One of these little idiots is going to jump accidentally into the spikes and then the other three will follow. Watch. Okay. They're being smart. Alright. Fine. Ah! <laughs> Why does the dice have to hurt you? I vaguely recall the gas outage because uh, I remember my aunt went to like some strange means of cooking. No. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Yep. One of them died. Okay. Uh. Alright. Cool. No. No. Sorry. Please don't be mad. Please don't be mad. 
No. <laughs> Wait, no. Ah! That one's poisoned. That one's dead. Fuck! I needed one of them. Alright, well. I can't do anything for that one. That one's just gonna die. It's alright. I can still do this. Okay, I just need to go... Wait. No! Ah! <laughs> Matter! I saw the bits appear on screen and then I got poisoned. But thank you for the bits. In the corner of my eye, I was like, explosion. No, don't apologize. It's my own fault. I was being haphazard. About. It's okay. Poison. I've rescued the pet. Poison will be removed. Thanks for helping in. I'll uh, see you next time. Oh no, I'm I'm just gonna die. Shit. 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 Unless I hurry up. Wait. Um. No. Okay. I should just die. Um, there's no point. If I go in there and die... Yeah, okay. It's alright. This wasn't going well anyway. Alright, let's line this up. Why? No. Why? Why do you ha Oh, wait! Aha! That's good. Hold on. Stop. Perfect. You can't get out here. Okay, so you go in here. Mm, you carry this for me, please. Thank you. Um... I'm gonna have to do it without the pickaxe, unfortunately. I'll go. Uh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to pay extra attention. No, don't, 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 don't move. Okay. I think we're okay. I can, I can get him down here and then he can't get out. Yep, perfect. Okay. Um, hold on. Put a bomb here so he can't get out. Okay, beautiful. Alright. <laughs> and now I just go get my sword. At least I got that going for me. Alright, still deciding for dinner. Pizza. Or should I just, like, cave and get the spicy McChicken? I just want to kick back and watch some stuff. Hmm... What's on the other side? 
Alright, that's just as bad, if not worse. Okay, that, that, and... Wait, there. Okay. Value for money pizza is better. This is true. I do like having leftover pizza. It's quite legit when you are hungry randomly in the night. Um, I, I have to rescue the pet because I don't have much health. Okay, let's just kill this thing. Uh. Ooh, well, I'm worried there. As long as he doesn't go below. I just need him to survive for 15 more seconds. Okay. No! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It didn't fall straight down. Okay. Alright, good. It's probably here. Uh, uh, Alright, use another bomb. Yeah, it was there. Also gotta be careful, I can't set this off nearby. Okay. There you go. Every time I hear an explosion, just... You have no idea, like, I, I just clench. Because in about three seconds, that could be the end. Alright, I'm getting this, just in case. Main thing is I have paste and I have boots. I do not have Kapala, which is you kind of want that spicy chicken burger now. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? And they have it in double. Oh, oh no, that that's bad. No, gotta kill it. Gotta kill it. If that laser goes straight up. Okay. Okay. Um, I should probably take the time to just get this dude, just in case there's an altar, or he's good enough to survive. Nah, fuck! Ah, oh, alright, I died. <laughs> okay, one more run and then I'm gonna consider food. The thing is, I, I kinda had no choice, like... I was on the back foot. Without... yeah. Without the blood cup, we're, we're not doing anything. With delivery, they have a monthly subscription thing. If you don't pay delivery fees, if you go over a certain amount. If you order over $30 of McDonald's, you get free delivery. $30 of McDonald's, though. Um, but I do have that. Because it does save money in the long run. Okay, um... <laughs> I'm gonna steal. 
Got it. Disarm. Move along. Alright, we're good. Perfect steal. Now we just ignore him. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I don't hear him. Is that bad that I don't hear him? <laughs> you wanna talk about spooky? This is this is spooky right here. Um, let's do this. Just, oh you dick. Wait, what how what hit the pet? Oh, an arrow hit the pet. Okay. Let's just assume everything's fine. I hear him. I hear I hear the footsteps. This is like a uh like a horror game. There's this thing hunting me down. I can hear it. I can't see it. Oh no. Alright, he's- alright, that- I, I see him. I see him. Bottom level. Alright, so we can go back up here safely. Um... Yeah. Oh! No, I'm gonna have to... Alright, I think the better thing to do is to drop from above. Very tentative considering moving to West Collingwood Fitzroy in March. Oh, really? Hmm. I heard that that area is pretty. Uh oh. Yeah, this might be a lost cause now. <laughs> pretty expensive. I was gonna say. Guess I'm a villain. Honestly, a Christmas miracle that nothing worse happened. Alright, so now they have to escape without death. I mean, the area is really convenient though, but... As someone that has spent a lot of time in that area, the thing that I don't like about it is... Like, uh... There's a lot of people that are on meth in that area, and some of them have really lost their mind. Ah, ba -ba! Um, there's one in particular that that was uh, she stopped traffic randomly one day, and she just started kicking the fuck out of a bus, like the front of it, for no reason. I mean, there's a difference between weird and a safety issue, like... It's when it becomes a safety issue that's a problem. Like, I've seen people just... Them get into random fights with people. On the street. Like, I had a co-worker that... Was visiting from interstate. And one of these... Meth people, like... Basically got into a fight with them, just because... They thought that, uh... He was looking at them. When he wasn't. So, that's the only thing about that area that's shitty, but everything else is, is good. I would point out comes from someone that grew up in an area that was like very common to that. Let's just say that. 
kind of infamous for it. Um, I guess it's worth going down this side. Yeah, I'll just cl I'll just climb back up. <laughs> There's one dude that um yeah, I'm trying to remember. I mean, it's not it's not a big deal. It's just I guess there's a difference between going there and living there. Like you know, I, I, yeah. That's the, that's what I've never understood about that particular area is that stuff is going on, but it's still expensive to live there. And it's, mm, I've never quite understood it. The fuck. I don't think they're going to forgive me. I think I may be unforgivable here. He's climbing. Okay, drop. Yeah, okay, so I may have done something that's unforgivable. So I might be a permanent outlaw. <laughs> oh, fuck. This would all be fine, but the problem is they're at the end of every stage and... I just don't think it's worth the items you get to have that happen to you. There's just more people like you there. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Wait. That should be safe. Maybe. Okay. Oh. Not meth addict, by the way. <laughs> I kinda gathered. Thank you for clarifying. Actually, <laughs> more important than that, the one thing I do know about that area, depending on what side you live, uh, internet might be shit. Oh shit, I'm still alive. How? <laughs> Having said that, there are plenty of functional ice addicts out there. There are. I mean, I'm not, like, demonizing anyone that's in a struggle. Um, but... I mean, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say I have, in my family, seen... seen it firsthand what it can do to a person, and... There's a certain point at which they're too far gone. This is in specifics to like meth because that shit like it really really fucks your mind up. So yeah I have seen when it reaches that point. 
That would have been awful to go through. Well, I mean, I only saw it in bits and pieces, but... You know, because I had already moved out. Um, and it wasn't something in my immediate family, it was like an uncle of mine. But it did involve kids and it just fucking broke my heart, man. <laughs> like, quite frankly, just... Yeah, it was heartbreaking. But the kids now, oh, they're just... I'm really proud of them. They're... They're just super happy regular kids, but then... Yeah, during that time period it wasn't great for them. Anyway, um, yeah, don't worry about that. Internet. Particularly in the Collingwood area, they haven't completely rolled out NBN there. If you're more on the Fitzroy side of things, you're gonna have better luck. Because that was one of the earliest places that did get fiber, like Fitzroy Brunswick. It was one of the earliest NBN rollouts. But then the other side of it is like coax and it's really, really fucking shit. So, just keep that in mind. We're not talking about that one, no. We're not, we're not addressing that one. We're not addressing the elephant-sized death in the room. Easiest win being Fitzroy is a smaller suburb in Melbourne. Yeah, pretty much. They did Brun they did central Brunswick, they didn't do all of Brunswick. <laughs> At the pl place that I used to live at before where uh you know, I had that period of horrible internet. Shit. I'm restarting. I kid you not, the house next door to us had fiber. We were just on the fucking edge of the line where the rollout ended. Thanks to Captain Dipshit's alternative plan. Captain Dipshit and Admiral Dickfingers, who fucks everything he touches. See, I don't have to refer to him by name. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it definitely did suck. <laughs> For a while. We were like, would it, would it be... Would it be so bad if we went next door to the neighbor and asked, like, we would subsidize their internet plan? Be like, we'll pay for part of your internet. We'll pay for part of your internet. But just let us run an ethernet cable to our house so we can have access to that internet. Um... That was... Super tempting. I'm going down this way. Baby bush, yeah. Yep. But, I mean... As much as I didn't like the guy, at least he didn't pretend to fucking be in Hawaii.
Uh, it is my hope that they do not follow me down here. Uh oh. That's very well what might just happen. At the very least, he seemed like he listened to his advisors about optics. Well, not just that, I think... Because the dude used to be a volunteer firefighter, right? I think genuinely, in that circumstance, like, he could empathize with what was happening with the fires. Genuinely. On, like, a fundamental human being level, he could do it. Whereas in the other dude, just, I don't know, just behaved like a cunt, basically, just wanting to get photos with people. Again, I, I, I extremely dislike both of them, but I can at least acknowledge that one of them would have had the human decency factor in that situation, and the other one just down dumbfounded. I also just got poisoned. One of them was <laughs> J.O.T. from marketing, yeah. But the whole marketing thing is fucking hilarious, I love it. That's pretty much what it is. It's like... Oh, I'm dead. Out of touch middle management, like, trying to market. It's five o'clock. So I'm gonna respect the result of whatever this last run is. This will be... Re result will be respected either way, and then break for dinner and we'll do Blink's Awakening. Fuck. Really? Ah. Oh. I couldn't see that. I was hidden in in the decoration. Um, okay, hang on. I think I should just There you go, that's how that's done. I should just be able to yeet this thing. Your new order had just arrived, congrats. Happy to hear that you'll get the vast quantities of meat. I can appreciate that. use rope to get back up. Oh, alright, that resolves. Spike boots. Good. Um, oh, there's pace. Why is it every time I say that there's like I'm gonna do one more run that it starts doing this. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Don't go yet, please, don't go. Promise we'll behave now. Okay, um, if I can get one more in, that's Kapala. Potentially could do with this. Take the hit. GG! 
Alright, let's get out of here. And get health from this. Um, was there an urn? Because if there's an urn, I can get that as well. Not sure. There is, but it's kind of... No, I think I can get it. I think I can get it. Oh, it's alright. Don't worry about that. This is worth it. <laughs> as long as I don't <laughs> die. It's worth it as long as I don't die. I'm getting another 12 bombs is just amazing. Oh shit, um, I gotta lead him around. Stop carrying this, I don't need to carry it anymore. Alright, go down. Parkour! Parkour! like that. I need a break. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> and then we're gonna come back and do Link's Awakening in like four hours. So it'll be a bit of a break. But I hope you enjoyed uh, the stream. A little bit of a bonus one. Um... I'll see about tomorrow. I might do like a dry run of a new new schedule, but I gotta go out tomorrow as well, so we'll see. But Link's Awakening in four hours, and then I'll see where we go from there. Oh, hello Amy. <laughs> nice to see ya. Yeah. I'm still... I'm not gonna lie, I'm still tossing up between should I get the fucking... McChicken, or should I just get the pizza? But that, that's a me problem. That's a me problem. Okay. Alright, I'm done talking. <laughs> See you later, chat.